you're celebrating Mardi Gras. Hope you have a safe and wonderful day. I have on my Mardi Gras sweatshirt. And I didn't have time to hunt my beads, so I don't have any beads. <laughs> so I hope you're all doing well. I've been a bad girl. And you know, normally my bad goes as far as I bought something or something like that, but this was, I was really a bad girl. Oh, that sun. I think I need to turn the defrost on. Okay, sorry about that fan. I'll turn it off in just a minute. So yesterday, you know, I was being, you know, the sarcastic person that I am. I posted on all social media except for here, my opinion on the ball game, on the Super Bowl. And for some reason, I guess the Swifties didn't like my opinion. And on TikTok, I got deemed for community guidelines. I was not following community guidelines. I never said one thing bad. All I said was, you have to, your mind has to go, or my mind had to go to where, is this game real? <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, I can, that's just the way I am. You know, I don't know, I mean, I'm assuming it is not, I mean, I'm assuming it's a real game, that's the way it ended, but your mind can't help but go there because of everything that's been going on. And that's all I said, well, and if y'all saw it on Instagram or Facebook, then you know. So, I mean, I don't think I did anything wrong. Now, the other one, yeah, I probably did. <laughs> the other one, I did a little musical TikTok to a video of Travis Kelsey. I mean, it was everywhere. Everybody saw it. It wasn't the one with her him pushing the coach or whatever this was a different one and I mean I don't get what I still I don't get what I did what was so wrong anyway I could have appealed it and but I just hit the lead and you know I didn't appeal it I don't really care I mean yes I want my TikTok to grow but I mean if they're not gonna let you you know it's just like with Instagram you don't ever know what is gonna get taken down and what's gonna be okay. You know, I know that TikTok is where the majority of probably the younger people are, and of course I tagged it, you know, Swifties and all that, but so I guess I asked for it, but I just don't get it. You know, this world, in my opinion, is, you know, these people have got to learn to take a joke. They've got to. All right, so I am on my way to work, and this is February 13th. I know I said it was Fat Tuesday, but it's February 13th. And I'm wearing the same makeup I've been wearing. I'm wearing the Foera Foundation. You know, honestly and truly, I am thoroughly enjoying this foundation. I have not found one thing wrong with it, other than I probably put on too much the first day, and that was my fault. A little goes a long way and I don't you know some days I said it some days I don't if you want a glowy face at the end of the day don't set it you know this foundation in my opinion rivals anything I have ever purchased and I'm gonna say it even rivals the one I love so much that gave me Milia and that was the NARS so, Melissa55, <laughs> if you're watching, you should give this foundation a try. I think that, you know, like I said, a little goes a long way. The hardest part is the, the shade match. They just don't have that many colors because I think this is a, you know, Chinese or you know, some kind of Asian foundation. So the colors are not the greatest. 
and there may be some darker ones. I'm not sure, but I got to I got to look. I got to do some more digging and find a better match. Now, I think this is fine right now. It kind of gives me the dead look, and I'm okay with that. You know, especially if I don't put nothing on my lips. But in the summertime, I of course I, you know, I can use bronzer. I could use self-tanner, and it would probably show through, but anyway, I just think this foundation is fantastic and I don't care what it cost. I'd probably buy it. And who knows, this may be what this may be the formula they're putting in the $200 foundation out there. You never know. That's why I say that it's all in our head. It's all in our head. Now it's gotten windy, windy, windy from the cold front that's come through yesterday. You know, it was warm today. It's, you know, it's not that cool yet, but I mean, there's definitely a cold breeze. We could lose power. So pray we don't lose power today because of the wind. Uh, that just stresses me out having to run home and switch my mom's tanks and you know it's just a lot you know that's the only thing that scares me when I say I want snow is and you know a lot of people don't associate power outage with snow but here in the south that does happen a lot because you know we're not when we tend to get a lot of, I mean, if we get a lot of snow, there'll be power outages. And I, you know, next week was supposed to be our chance, but it's kind of gone away. You know, I think that, I, I don't know that we'll get any this year, which is really sad. You know, I know Tennessee had a good one and good for them, but we've just not had a good one for a long time. And I just want just, I mean, I want a beautiful snow and it just hurts. <laughs> All right, one more thing on fragrance and then I'm going to go because it's uh, about time for me to go in is I do have on a uh, vanilla sax today from Tom Ford and I also got in that dupe for uh, Lost Cherry. And I have to say they mix just like I felt they mix beautifully together. Now I also have one that I got in from Scentbird. It's called Deep Dark Vanilla by DS and Durga. I don't know anything about them. I have no idea how much this cost. If you had a full bottle, I'd have to look that up. This has the notes are Vanilla Absolute Hay, <laughs> Orchid, Pink Pepper, and cypress root or cypress root and this is very similar let's, let's spray it this reminds me of the other one that Lord sent me what is it See if I got it in here. <laughs> I, I get confused with names. Y'all know that. And I want to be... This smells like Vanilla Fatale. So it could easily be mixed with the cherry, the Lost Cherry 2. Now this one is from Alt Fragrances. It's called Cherry Smash, I think. They also have one for the cherry smoke. I'm not a smoke person. I don't like tobacco scents and all that. So that that one I didn't try. But this one I really like the combination. So, you know, if you can find you a good vanilla, and I mean, you could, you know, order you a, a dupe for va a vanilla. But there's several vanillas out there that are not expensive. And, you know, you can find them and then get you that a dupe for lost cherry you know you've got you're gonna have a good scent I can only speak for the alt one I mean I love it and I've, I've got some more that I'm gonna mention I'm gonna try to do an entire video on them and an entire video on Okja so 
I mean, I've got ideas for videos. It's just finding the time to do them. That's the problem. Finding the time and energy. So I'm going to close for now. I hope y'all have a great day and I'll talk to y'all later. Love you. Bye.